So this is gonna be a quick overview of the electric jet engine. Uh, first off, we have the 3D printed parts here. Front half, rear half, and uh, 3D printed fan as well. This is made out of polycarbonate, uh, so it's just a little bit stronger, lighter, can handle higher temperatures, it really doesn't matter. Um, that's just what I wanted to print it out of. So we have some guide vanes that would exist in a normal uh, turbo fan engine around the bypass section and then in the core I just have well the actual motor so there's an electric motor in there I don't remember the exact details on it but um, yeah it's just a generic electric motor uh, you would size your battery to match whatever the motor can do uh, so the wires these would go to the ESC the speed controller um, and otherwise that's that's pretty much it on this front half and the back half we have just some more internal details that really don't matter. I just put them there to look cool uh, because I wanted to model this after an actual turbofan engine. Uh, the back has some little scuffed areas here. I decided to do some details there, but they didn't print very well because the geometry was too thin. So yes, and uh, the picture there. And I just have this just to be able to make it stand nice when it's, make sure it stand nicely while it is on. So then from there, you have the speed controllers. Uh, they go directly to a receiver. To a receiver here. Uh, they don't actually have to. I didn't initially have this receiver. So I ran it off a servo tester um, because I only bought the receiver for the electric surfboard project. So otherwise, if you wanted to do that route, you'd route your ESC directly to your servo tester, which is fine. Um, and then, so if you're gonna, then you, of course your battery, which is meant for your specific motor, you just have to make sure that it's not gonna be too high voltage. So in this case, 11.1. I think this motor may be rated for 12, something like that. Um, and otherwise, if you're gonna do the, gonna do the receiver path, you need five volt source. So 7.4 down to five to your receiver and then the receiver controls everything. And I, again, the remote off my electric surfboard project. So when I initially did this, I didn't actually use the remote. And I just used this servo tester right here and it worked quite well. Um, unfortunately, I can't measure the RPM since the curved geometry, when I put a reflective piece on there, it doesn't work with the uh, tachometer. So I can't actually measure the RPM, but in the video, that I that I posted that I, that I ran it was maximum 40% power as measured on here and it actually only turns on at 20% power so I I am scared to go higher because I've actually had I've actually had this I think I don't know it was a different fan actually uh the first fan I had actually flew off because this is super glued the shaft sucks um so it's super glued and the first fan actually flew off and uh yeah, so that's why I don't go too high on this one. Whereas the smaller models that that all, you can also find on my channel, they they uh they have threaded uh, shafts coming off the off the motor, so they're much safer. But um, I think I only ran that one at maximum fifty percent because vibrations uh, over frying the motor. Uh, I've actually fried one of those motors before, and I definitely didn't hit hundred percent yet. So. Too much load on that so yeah that's the uh that's the overview